3v3 on top, attempt to take down Ninja Buki. You might get uh, surrounded by Eknoa. Here we go, rolling, holding, and dropping quite low. Rubik or Silenza, it was Rubik who goes down first. 1-1 one, one. for that Gangaroo. Gangaroo coming in, it seems like Mineki needs to contain, they can't keep losing body rune like that. Spinning around, uh, Egg one dropping quite low, already dropping some three three fast. It's gonna be Egg Noah who goes out, repel, but he will die because of the physical attack of that Hylenza. Gangaroo being attacked, Storm, even Storm joined the team fight, but he will stop. So Storm just gonna go and get the Rubik. Let's take a look at the Kangaroo first. Motor Smash is gonna connect it. Kangaroo healing, Storm coming in. Team. Mineski. Uh, here comes uh, jumping in. Life deal is inside. Need to be careful for the zone spirit. Uh, Corsi face on the Mushi. Are they gonna go in? KYXY coming around. With a smoke and a stampede aiming for the kangaroo. They're gonna get rid of that Omni Knight first. I mean, for Storm, trying to catch, but it was a trap set by Team WT Unity. Storm almost goes down, however, they started a full team fight right there. Two down for Team WT Unity and going in for more. Mineski trying to chase out, but then Archie spinning around. Archie, double kill for Mushi Master. Here we go into the Roshan pit. Dropping quite low. It's only two guys trying to take down the Roshan. So here we come. To Global Silence does not think Team WG could do. That is completely destroyed by Team Mineski. Four, maybe five, actually. Even though he died three times. Long Spirit, with an Aegis. Wants the kill already. Oh, a Silence, very nice. Bonus Smash coming out from Mineski's side. Dropping quite low, sorry, the Echo no, are gonna be the next one. I did, however, get rid of the AU. AU going in a little too deep. The BG trying to push themselves out. Radiant bottom barracks. Flying in for the storm, catching the floor first. A silence of the Rubik. Nice kill. You blew it. I think no you. more Rubik. And now they get a drag flying in again. Global silence this time. Get rid of the target. Got like a double kill, or maybe a triple kill. But King you stepped on himself, trying to buy some time. He comes out. He did a triple kill. Ultra kill rampage, maybe no. Oh, died inside. He was a little too hyped. And storm spread in the beauty from behind. Global silence. And they catch a Tinker. <laughs> and Silencer, Global Silence is the main thing in this game. Something interesting. Touch on three. Flying in by the storm. Uh, refresh already been used. Guardian Gangster comes out. I did get rid of the KI SY. Next one is going to be Muji. He's dropping quite low. He's trying to walk back to the high ground. The Alpha also got the storm spirit ball lining. Where is Storm? He's still around here, ready to go for round two. And yep, Gangaroo, next one's gonna be the life dealer. We're gonna go. Get back here, bro. Going in for the storm. And Global Silence comes out once again. They're trying to get rid of the Omni Knight before he can use his ultimate. Uh, he died. Uh, he actually used ultimate too. I mean, uh, used it long ago. Ultimate is still on cooldown. It's a GT call coming out from Team WG. First game ends at 47 minutes. Uh, Mineski takes the lead. Right. We finally we are in. KYXY finally landed a hoop stomp. That should be the first blood. Citrine crush and Ajit got it. There we go. The ultimate for the first time can kill that astronaut. No, cannot kill anyone. Mushi walking away, being shot down by the tower. Actually, Mushi and Mineshi have been linked together for like a long time. Oh man. Trying to save Mushi by using Shadow Grey, but getting chopped. Towers for Team Mineshi is the way back into this game. But they found Ajit half HP, Ajit gets into the creeps, waiting for his teammate to teleport down to the shrine. Ajit comes out. And he see that Tasta trying to do some uppercut before he goes down, and yet he gets chopped by an axe. Man, like I mentioned during the draft, that you guys saw how how big impact 
tasks can create in this the summit. Three man smoke, slow down that axe, axe, that is dominating axe, finally he goes down because, here we go, AU, AU, maybe rolling, oh, but jumped down first, but the axe, slow balls inside, and who's gonna get in, it's AU, picking up the ages, that is a big play, the BLG lost two and maybe three, that's gonna be another core hero, goes down by the BLG, oh, come on, denied himself, but he was stopped, disaster, the BLG, Exoa aiming for Mushi, he saw the target, but he don't want to go in just yet. Something between touch, getting ready for the shallow grave. Very nice, that's what I'm talking about. That what the Minesi waiting for it comes in. Desolator stabbing him all down. Snowballs in, stun two. And an uppercut on the crystal man and killing spree double kill. Sorry, the Raging Potato, he still keep on moving. Refraction still on, triple kills. Slow him down with Sonic Trap. Nana is going to be the next one. He's trying to run away with 489 movement speed. We will win this one. Oh, wait. We're gonna find someone first. It's Tempo Zin. Already used his freezing field just for TA. He still can use his Hurricane Pike though. Where's his ward? He was. Oh man. TA goes down. Gotta get rid of the main damage. It's time to chase for more. Jump in. But oh. <laughs> Man, that ultimate coming out from that Luna is just like machine gun. It's like woo -hoo -hoo. snowballs in and Luna down. That was really good fight for Team WG Unity. Let's say, especially that axe catching like two or three heroes of Team in SD. Okay, here we go, Muti, but an Aegis. Now they are ready to go in. I don't know why they're not contesting the Roshan just now. However, they get rid of the AU. Position 4 coins already. But Muti gonna come back full HP, full mana. It doesn't matter because they lost their position 3 as well. They're on the high ground by Raging Potato. Forming up the Black King bar. Oh, look at that. A lot of damage coming out. They're trying to kite that life dealer. But it doesn't matter. Shadow Grave comes out. Get chopped, bro. Get ready, as goes down, 3 3 cards is one of the most intense fights in this game. And it seems like they are losing the Tempest scene. All falls down, double kill for the Nana. Bad, bad game for Mineski. One small mistake in team fight caught them again. They both. And that's what I'm talking about. Nice drop getting an act in that lineup. Double kills already for Kangaroo. He is very well known about his act play. Pixel kill for Gangaru. Shopping them one by one, man. And kills Gangaru. First of the call, GG call coming out from Mushi. Game has been good until the last team fight. Imba Spirit. Playing. Oh, in the middle lane, there's some gang happening around here. Nana being ganked down by AU and the Emperor Spirits. Oh, the very fights already. They can't run away from the fast movement speed. AU punch him. Team the beauty don't want to wait anymore, so they just going to dive this one. Here we come three v two. Stays behind the tower. Somebody teleport down. It's gonna be Echo Titan. No, I mean Elder Titan. Here we go, aiming for the uh, Outworld Devourer, trying to buy some time though. Astro imprisonment, but he came down, he get chopped up by Kangaroo. Radiance Once again, the Kangaroo is just... Oh, maybe another double kill for the Kangaroo! Trying to charm and got his ultimate. Team the beauty needs to try to push and use ultimate just to kill one hero. That's not exactly worth it, however. Something on the high ground, it's a movie, get rid of the Dafu, but it doesn't matter because Dafu already dropped his master in wards and... Touch on two. Nice open by KYXY dropping quite low to get rid of the Alpha without using any spell. But however, one unsolved can he get where he was burned down by the flame guard. Flying in by the storm and trying to get rid of that ember spirit. Can he fight remnant away? He cannot. He already used, but Team Minesi is not so far away. Minesi is going to contest this for sure. Rating potato drops some um, remnant around there. We have these thoughts already. Get rid of that cow salmon real quick. But however, the trade with the core heroes, uh, Rating Potato also goes down. Uh, he is not strong enough to fighting toe to toe with none with any of Team WG heroes. 
It's an Ember Spirit. Top lane catching the Outworld Devourer. Moochie goes out real quick and Storm flying in, trying to catch and dropping quite low for KYXY. Next one gonna be Elder Titan AU. Next one gonna be Warlock. Everyone goes down in front of the base. Guys, I think this is kind of family. Just like, oh man, killing spree, double kill for Kangaroo. Going in for more. That will definitely be a Barrax. Reach the point. Get being pulled back by Nana. Nana. Something. Who got? Oh, that, Nana got away. He did. Cosi pays on. Nana going in once again. Nana died, but he, of course he's gonna come back full HP, full mana. That's the reason why. The full HP. Storm Spirit catching for more. Trying to find the support. It doesn't matter. It's fine. They got what they need. They got one core hero. It's actually two core heroes and off lane and a mid lane. They're gonna get this tower. This is exactly like the last time they met in the base of three series in Team Ineki won game one. Haste. Sorry. Man, I used so many voices today. Oh, from the Black King bar spinning around like a kangaroo. Oh. Holy moly, we see a lot of great axe play today. Raging Potato get rid of the Nana. Finally, they brought that Storm Spirit down. Shackle. Raging Potato gonna be the next one. And it's a DT call coming out. 